Three suspected catalytic converter thieves evade sheriff's deputies during a high-speed chase up through the Santa Clarita Valley, only to crash into a different deputy involved in a different pursuit. All three of the suspects were taken to a local hospital along with that deputy involved in the crash. Inside the suspect's vehicle, officers found at least eight catalytic converters. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter joins us live in Santa Clarita with the details on this. Hi, Kareen. Hi there, Rick in court. Well, fortunately, no one was seriously injured in this crash, but this is where that pursuit ended near this gas station. In fact, this is where one of those suspects was detained. Here's a closer look at that surveillance video capturing the alleged crime. It's happened again. Thieves targeting homes in the middle of the night. These suspects recorded on security cameras, allegedly stealing a catalytic converter from this car. The entire incident happened in just minutes Friday night. The homeowner, who did not want to be identified, said there were four men involved, including two lookout drivers. Sheriff's deputies eventually located a minivan possibly linked to the incident along the five freeway in Valencia. A pursuit soon began, but officials quickly called off the chase with the SUV reportedly traveling at dangerously high rates of speed. A short time later, deputies responded to a call by a Burbank Police Department unit that was in the area and had spotted a stolen vehicle unrelated to the previous incident. While assisting, a traffic collision occurred on Lyons Avenue and the 5 Freeway in Newhall, involving sheriff's deputies and the suspects from the previous reported theft incident. The entire overpass uh, was shut down. Sheriffs were blocking both sides. This retired Burbank police officer who lives in Santa Clarita drove by the scene after that collision. A second suspect was detained in a backyard not far from his home. The precious metal, the radium or radium, which is what the inside of it uh, contains, that's what's worth the money. That's what they try to take to recycling centers uh, and get their money for. They're in and out quickly with the Sawzall type of a tool. Investigators confirmed they recovered several catalytic converters and tools often used in these thefts from the suspect's vehicle. This former cop said cases of catalytic converter thefts may be on the rise, but this crime isn't new and that he handled countless cases as an investigator. His advice to the public? Well, if you have a garage and you can park in it, park your park your vehicles in there, obviously, or if you've got a uh, an RV type access on the side of your house parked there. If you don't have that, you can install cameras and things like that. Uh, you're not going to catch your suspects right then and there, but maybe you'll get a picture of them. Detectives say that this case remains under investigation. Again, the deputy involved in this crash was not seriously injured.